Okay, picture this. It's a Sunday afternoon and you want a quick snack. You grab some tortilla chips and go in for a big bite. Ugh, but to your horror, they're dry, they're crunchy, they're, they're, they're plain. There's nothing on them. What are you gonna do? I don't know. We're all scared, what's going on? But wait, maybe there's a solution. You look in your pantry, and guess what you find? Nothing but some chickpea garbanzo beans. Yes. Little known secret, they don't want you to know. If you look on the back of the can, there's a homemade hummus recipe. Hummus. Hummus. Yeah, that'll do. That's right, we're making hummus today. Homemade, from a can, from scratch. Can scratch. So I go to ask my friend Abby on how to make hummus. She said they only need four ingredients. And so um, here are the ingredients. She said chickpeas, garbanzo beans. She said sesame oil, one lemon, and cumin powder. And water. Yes, water. And uh, these are the spices I decided to choose. Salt, black pepper, oregano, paprika, and then slide it on in, we have some olive oil. Also, I wasn't sure quite how to get the creaminess of hummus, so I thought some sour cream might help, and maybe a little bit of garlic, but they may not be necessary. Lastly, I had to find a way to mix all this together so I found my roommate's blender. It's a magic bullet. Um, it came with two tops. Here's the blue one, a little bit bigger, still pretty tiny, but uh, if you compare it to this one, it's a lot bigger. So I don't know if we'll actually be able to use this or not. I thought I'd give it a go maybe, just have it prepared. I don't really trust it. Uh, go ahead and plug it in, first try. Okay, doesn't work. Second try is a charm. Okay, so I first went and just opened the can of beans. I saw there was some liquid inside, so I got a colander and decided to strain them. Um, I put all the juice into a bowl at the bottom and put the colander to the side after I rinsed them. In the bowl was some juice, some water. thought I'd save that just in case. Before putting it in the blender, I thought it'd be a good idea just to mash them uh, with a big spoon. So I started mashing them in the colander. Uh, I quickly realized it was a colander and it was falling through. The the holes, I'm an idiot. So I get a real bowl and I make it the transfer. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a good thing to do early on. Now I can start really mixing. So I just give it a good smashing. I just started pressing really vigorously and forcefully with a big spoon uh, for about a minute or so um, until it looked like hummus. I don't know, I don't know what I was going for. Um, it looked okay. Then I had the brilliant idea of pouring in some of the juice. So I put in a little bit of that, like solvent, and uh, it mashed a lot better, actually. I, I could see it was more like a smoothie <laughs> consistency, almost like hummus. Uh, so yeah, it looked a lot better now. Like here it is. So the flavor of the mixed chickpea soup was pretty bland. It was just tastes like beans. So I grabbed the sesame oil and I measure a pretty small amount. This is the smallest measuring spoon I have. Uh, it's a quarter teaspoon. So I slowly but surely get it into there after several minutes and just put it right all in center. Uh, not very even. And I tried mixing it with a giant spoon. Don't know why I'm using a giant spoon. It just, <laughs> it's just barely working but I keep doing it. Uh, the taste at this point, I go in for a quick grab. Uh, it tastes a little better, not much different, but I'm trusting the process. Okay, so now it's time for a little kick in the mix. I grab a lemon and go ahead and slice it right down the center. Uh, this will let me squeeze it. That way I can get pure lemon juice. I thought a fresh lemon would be much better than like store-bought juice. So I go ahead and start squeezing I get plenty of the seeds in there, <laughs> didn't notice at the time, but I go ahead later and pull them out as you see. 
So I do the first lemon, it gets all in there, and uh, I start mixing up. A uh, bonus of all the lemon juice was that it helped with the consistency a little more. Uh, I go for a quick little taste with the added lemon, and uh, I see that it's actually pretty incredible. It actually tastes like hummus now, so I'm not worried about how much I add. I just put in the whole rest of the lemon, and here's me getting the seeds out. Uh, <laughs> Silly me. I, I got them all out. Um, I did not use any of the water. No water needed, just the water from the bowl and the lemon juice. Worked out great. Oh, and lastly, we have the cumin. This is the necessary spice. I put a quarter teaspoon in at first, and then I go back and put in a little more after that. I'm wise enough to get a fork at this point. Mix it around with a fork. It gets really creamy again. Uh, after mixing, I look really happy about it. It looks like actual hummus. I didn't need any sour cream to make it creamy. Time for the spices. Uh, but first though, before I put the spices in, I had to put it in a new container so I could save it. So I push all this junk out to the side and get a Tupperware. Um, it's really big, but I thought I made a lot of hummus. Uh, as I start to pour it in, I realize that I did not make that much hummus, and this container is way too big. So, um, <laughs> I got a new container, but I didn't think it was worth it. I didn't want to make it dirty again, so I just used this giant container. I put in a little salt, I put in some freshly cracked pepper, uh, not very much, just a little bit. Most importantly was the paprika. I always see like red junk on hummus, so I thought this would really seal the deal, make it look authentic, and I think it did. Uh, that's the final product, it's done. Here's some shots outside out in the sun. It looks like hummus. Here's a sweeping beautiful shot of my masterpiece over the city view. Ah. So how does it hold up in the taste test? Well, I grabbed those boring old chips from the beginning, take a bite, and wow, holy cow, it tastes just like hummus. Um, yeah, this is the aftermath. Pretty big mess for not even a real meal, just a little snack, but I'm happy with it either way. It was a good day, you know, good meal. So thanks guys for watching, I really appreciate it. If you have any more food suggestions, any ideas, leave them below in the comments and I'll see you next time. Peace.